tread lightly. Don't upset the apple cart. My name is Travis Knights, and I'm the, the tap dancer, the Oh goodness, I feel so lonely. I am the solo performer in this solo performance. I'm so lucky to have learned all of these stories, to have developed all of these relationships with these people, some of which who have since passed away. Criminal Artifacts came to me through an act of faith from the incredible Brandon Weary. She's the director of the Cathedral. She's the mastermind behind the whole thing. And uh, I say an act of faith because she approached me with this uh, incredibly um, difficult idea in the sense it was outside of my realm. I didn't think that was possible. It was possible for me to ever do that in my life. I've been tap dancing for over 20 years. And she came to me with this idea and had faith in me. And lo and behold, um, I found that I was able to do it. Yeah, we can just try like taking some of it out, so just it might bounce, it might do something if there's just a very small amount. In okay, it. should so, we do that? Yeah. See if we don't need Chris for that. So it's just like a little bit of water to make make it a little less. Uh, So uh, can you can you try something? Yeah. Can you try tapping on this floor? See what the cork is. The gift of this week and the gift of the lab is um, massive in its generosity because it's happening at an integral part where we're we're still making, which I think is really radical because it's a radical space of care that asks like, how do we consider expanding aesthetics? Uh, around accessibility, so it's not a tag-on, it's not an add-on. And that seems so simple, but for me it's just been like, it's a beautiful offer. Um, and in the reciprocalness of that offer, it's actually changing the questions we're asking. And it's like the questions of the work remain the same, but the questions of like how it gets communicated and how meaning is made starts to shift. For me, I'm really, this is just going to be my bias, I'm always going to put it on the table. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm less interested in a bunch of pans as show and tell. Mm -hmm. For me, the water has to be integrated into the, the set piece for a reason other than this moment. Yeah. this whole experience. I know it's called the Accessibility um, Workshop uh, Lab, but I feel like it was for me, for me to have access to, to this experience, to, to uh, a different perspective of your mouth, David, sorry, <laughs> to a, a different way to um, experience the world. It is continuing to work on me. It's giving me new ideas on how uh, what I do, tap dancing, uh, for me, the, the audio as well as the visual is so important to the whole thing. But now I'm thinking about vibrations, I'm thinking about feel, I'm thinking about the different ways that I can, in the future, uh, um, make what I do, uh, I don't want to say more accessible, uh, more badass, quite frankly. Um, I think that's um, a lesson that I've been given in this whole process. And so I'm working with the team, with 
with Travis as well. Uh, at first, really, it started with a you know smaller conversation, a meeting of ideas, brainstorming, different suggestions about what we felt with this kind of project, how access might look, and sort of the concept of access. We've seen a lot of times where there's an interpreter on the side of the stage, and that's sort of how theater is made accessible to the deaf audiences. But we were really going for something different, something more integrated, something that was really part of the performance and not just an interpreter on the side, something that it wasn't even necessarily under the label of access, but just that made the show itself accessible to all people. And so we sort of started with those ideas, and then the first day of the actual experimenting process or the testing process, we sort of focused on vibrations to see which would be successful. And we've noticed that vibrations are a very successful part of this project and how it's integrated. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just such a strong part of this component, or such a strong component of this show. So that was a huge check mark. Uh, one of the other things we tried was also working with captions and different ideas with the captions, such as where they might show up on the stage. And that's been a bit of a tough part to figure out. Um, I think it's only been about sort of really one day and a half so far that we've really been working that. So we're not quite 100% satisfied with some of it. Uh, some of the things we've been looking at sort of is the idea of when are the captions visible and when are they not? When does the performer block the captions? Does it depend where you're seated in the audience? Uh, so that's sort of with the captions. Yesterday, specifically, was probably one of my favorite parts. Uh, so we had a note taker who was in. And so while Travis is performing and dancing on stage and telling his life story, during the steps that he's taking, the captionist in the audience is picking certain parts of it, but also leaving space for the dance part of it as well. So just seeing that part of the expression has just been so amazing. I feel so honored to be a consultant involved in this project. It's just to witness that part of the process, to witness things as we're testing them out and trying them out and seeing what's successful and what's not has just been such an incredible experience. Sit down and at least listen to them. song was ending. She said, I hope they were paying attention. Then he closed his eyes.
using that specifically with the bell glass, like that was definitely part of that excitement as well. Uh, and also like the pauses with the speech and the way that the text was going, it was very much less distracting, having to sort of like kind of not raise up to it. I like the water. I mean, there were times where if you're speaking at the same time I'm dancing, it was a little bit wasn't sure where I was gonna put my eyes. Uh, so if there was a bit more timing, uh, that would have been nice. But what I didn't like was the black floor. That to me, I didn't feel like it matched. I really liked the idea of the water and the projection of the water. That was so interesting, especially seeing it at the same time as we're dancing, seeing those like reverberations in the water and how they would ripple at the same time as feeling the dance. Um, also specifically, like maybe if there was something where it's like the silver ones had the different kind of reflection, whereas the glass ones, like the types of reflections they were putting up were very different. Um, so I really like that. Um, when it comes to the text, I'm not really sure if this is emotion. Um, but like when it comes to the caption, uh, maybe using something to like sort of help us with that sort of auditory view or something where it's like maybe different colors are being used to show emotion or maybe there's different font kinds or something to sort of capture that emotional uh, part as well. Because I did love, all, actually I did like the short captions, but I just felt the emotional part was missing. And then similarly, I want to echo when it comes to dancing on the blue part, I love that part. Um, and there were some parts where I noticed there was less of the words on the screen, so I was trying to catch what you were saying by lip reading, which was incredibly tough, and I wasn't able to capture too much via lip reading. Because um, I just, knowing what happened as far as like, you know, if this was an actual theater show, it's pretty rare that text messes up that badly. Um, but yeah, when the screen did go down, I was trying to sort of catch either via lip reading, which was not necessarily successful. Really, uh, I mean, so, you know, there's already been some comments that are saying as far as the technology, and I've actually experienced the bells as sort of a harness before, but this was the first time experiencing it with a pillow. And like, there was at one point, like, I was crying. Like, I just, I felt so connected through the pillow. Like, I even had to close my eyes and just take a minute because I was just feeling so much emotion that, like, it felt like if I closed my eyes and focused on the vibration, I could almost visualize the dance in a very different way than I would. Like it felt like I could feel you going right, I could feel you moving left. Like I could, there was just so experience where it really like, it, it actually made me cry. Thank you so much. And thank you to you for being here and providing oh, that. Yes, thank you. We're done, now we can go Okay, home. everybody can go home.